Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you at this time, and what are their genuine intentions towards you. So let's jump right in. First Scorpio. What message, what guidance do you have for Scorpio spirit? regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? For Scorpio, what do we need to know about this individual that Scorpio is thinking about or connecting with at this time? What are they thinking about when it comes to Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling, Spirit, about Scorpio? Let's see, Scorpio. Keep in mind these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Strength, Leo Energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. So right away, this is very clear energy to me. It's someone obviously working, putting an effort into an offer, an opportunity of some sort. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So. Maybe this is an offer they will be communicating to you. Maybe they need courage to do so with strength. But I almost feel like this is like damage control. I'm not sure why I'm picking that up, but that's kind of what I'm fe feeling like. They need to make up for something here. What are they working on? Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. What are they working on? Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. You know, I feel like they need to build trust again. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person hurt you, Scorpio. Mistreated you. Made a mistake. I feel like they want to talk about this. Like, let's work on things or, or let me fix this or something like that. Also, I'm getting for others of you that this could be something that they're working on. And they're giving you like an update. Can I get one more for this Eight of Pentacles, please, Spirit? I see Eight of Pentacles here. Justice, Libra energy. So this could be that they're making something right. Yeah, fixing something again. Could also be something to do with like legal situation, career. Something happening in an official building. A contract being signed, paperwork being signed. But I feel this is an apology. There's a page of cups. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this person's working to build your trust again, wanting to maybe fix whatever mistake they've made. That's that's what I'm picking up. Tell me about the strength card. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength, please. Nine of Pentacles, two of Swords. Yeah, five of Wands. Something happened here between you and this person. I think that you, yeah, you're resisting this person, blocked this person, make, um, created a boundary or a barrier between you and this person. Maybe you stopped talking to them. Maybe you decided to be single and not deal with them because of whatever reason. It's going to be different for all of you. Something happened. And whatever this was, I think you lost trust in this person. Maybe there was a little bit of drama, arguments, fighting, conflict here. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Scorpio, if this does not resonate much for you, don't forget you can check out the Scorpio playlist linked in the description box. Plenty of other videos there for Scorpios. Temperance, Sagittarius energy with the King of Swords. Yeah, this is definitely like, let's talk. 
Let's fix this. I think when this person comes forward with this proposition, offer, apology, etc., I don't think you're going to know what to really do. Uh, maybe you're a little confused. Maybe you're just not sure. Maybe it sounds really good, but you don't trust them, right? So it's not easy for you to just be like, okay. Now, Page of Swords, King of Swords tells me this person will at least be honest or direct with you. These two energies are energies of someone that is, you know, they, they just care about the truth. They don't really, you know... It's more about delivering the message in the correct way and clearing things up. Tell me about temperance. I feel like this person might ask for some time or you will ask for a little bit of time. Yeah. In order to make your decision, two of wands. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna know what to do when they make you this offer, this proposition. And you're going to be like, okay, that sounds great, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I need time to think. I need time to figure out what it is that I want. Tell me about this person's overall energy. Tell me about this person's overall energy, please, Spirit. Towards Scorpio, what is their overall energy? towards Scorpio. Broken silence, opening up, being vulnerable, expressing their true feelings here. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds is also about influences and timeout, timing, waiting, patience, divine timing at the bottom of the deck. So this could all be happening, you know, within a certain time frame here, Scorpio, that's relevant for some reason. You know, maybe time has passed between you and this person. Um, maybe you need more time to figure out. Maybe this is an opportunity that comes in at the right time. Or your person's thinking this opportunity needs to be presented to Scorpio at the right time. Some of you are dealing with like meddling family members. I'm picturing like ki kitchen disputes. <laughs> That's, that's kind of what I'm picturing, like um, like fighting over the dinner table kind of energy. Others of you, I, I you know, maybe there's a strong bond here in terms of like a family situation or something. Um, I think, you know, I see it as an obstacle. I don't see that as a good card. I'm not getting good energy from it. But of course, every Scorpio doesn't have the same story, so occupation and lovers oh yeah this person that's like the eight of pentacles working hard focused um and i think it's because they're trying to fix something here with you let me put this back here what does this person wish they could tell scorpio what do they wish they could tell scorpio spirit I think I wish they could talk. Scorpio. I think I wish they could tell Scorpio at this time. You are my soulmate. I think they wish they could tell Scorpio spirit at this time i'm ready to open up so between oh broken silence and opening up i think this is someone being honest with you about something for the first time or opening up to you because there's been silence for some time bottom of the deck i'm not giving up interesting what else do we need to know What is this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio? I wish I could take back my words. So they've said something they regret already in the past. 
Maybe they made you a promise that they couldn't keep or they said something hurtful or perhaps they said something that really wasn't true, but maybe they were angry and it was kind of said in the heat of the moment. I don't know, Scorpio. I feel like there's something here that I'm missing, right? Like I'm not getting the full picture here, um, which makes sense because there, there's only so many tarot cards. <laughs> you know, there's not one tarot card that says like, mean brother-in-law you know it, that doesn't exist but i feel like there's um there's something that i'm missing here that has driven a wedge between you and this person feel free to let me know what that is in the comments but i feel like you're not together we will be together again it's at the bottom of the deck you know and i feel like you haven't really been talking because otherwise why would you break the silence so something definitely happened here what are this person's true intentions towards Scorpio. What are their true intentions towards Scorpio? What are their true intentions towards Scorpio spirit? What are their true intentions? Scorpio. The magician making something happen, manifesting, using every tool or resource to make something happen. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So their intention is to talk. And I think it's because they want to work things out. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They might talk about an interference. There's the higher font, Taurus energy, and the Four of Wands. So you know, I'm guessing that they want to, okay, so, you know, maybe there's something here about commitments, someone not able to commit or wanting to commit or having an existing commitment. But, you know, the Hierophant with the Four of Wands to me is like dating with the intention of marriage, having a home, etc. Eight of Swords is after that. So I don't know if there's like an obstacle here in terms of like uh, another situation. But I feel like more than anything, their main intention is to talk. Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Scorpio? Nine of Swords. Okay. Why is Ace? Okay. Queen of Wands. Okay. But when I see those two energies, I think of opposite energies. Can I get one more, please? Queen of Wands is very bold. They go after what they want. Don't really think about the risks too much. They usually get whatever it is that they want. They're not paralyzed by fear, like the Nine of Swords suggests. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Six of Swords. There's the Moon, Pisces energy. I think that your person is scared of taking a specific action here, possibly a departure. Um, they might be scared to face you, scared to visit you. But I feel like this is about being afraid to not take a certain, you know, it's like you don't really have all the answers with the moon or you're confused or doubtful, um, scared with the moon and the nine of swords. Maybe they're scared. Um, maybe they're going to say something like, hey, I haven't reached out because I've been honestly scared that you would never talk to me again because of what happened in the past. Or, hey, I just want to be honest with you. I know I said I was going to, you know, leave something behind and I haven't been able to, you know. And I just want to be upfront about that. Or, hey, I know I want this to work. I want to commit to you, but I'm scared because of such and such and such, you know, something like that. It's going to obviously be different for all of you. You're not all, you're not all going to get the same script. So I think that this is your person's intention to tell you something important regarding their fear. Um, for some reason, this involves you, Scorpio. There's only, you know, there's only one, one reason why someone would even tell you this. Yeah, there's the Ten of Wands. There you are, Scorpio, with death. I think that they have been dealing with something very difficult on their own. Maybe holding baggage from the past history you have with them. Maybe they've been feeling guilty ever since whatever happened between you. And now they're scared that it's over, you know, that they don't have another chance here. 
Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, this is about them bringing you an offer. And I honestly feel like they think their offer will be rejected. Like they're going to go home empty handed. The Ace of Pentacles here will not be accepted. Maybe too much time has passed. Maybe you're, you haven't forgiven them. Maybe you don't want to forgive them. I feel like you don't trust them. You, They've lost your trust. And that's been very hard to, to win back. Or they know that it's not going to be easy to get back, Scorpio. That's where your person stands right now. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching the reading. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.